In this video, I'm going to answer a viewer question about what are some of the best inexpensive microphones to use to make YouTube videos. Hi Caleb, I'm ADMHD, and if you're on a tight budget to buy a microphone for a DSLR, what can it be? Can it be a shotgun mic or a lapel mic? I don't know. Please answer my question. If you don't, look behind you. Alright, thank you. Thanks so much for the question, Austin. This is a question I get often about microphones, especially some of the entry-level ones that I recommend. So thanks for asking me an Ask Lab question. Remember, you guys can ask on Twitter with the hashtag Ask Lab. Make a little video of yourself, tweet it to me, and I'll go ahead and do a video response here on YouTube. So the microphones I would recommend if you're just starting out and have a tight budget, a low budget, are number one, the SmartLav Plus from Rode. This is gonna be a lavalier microphone that then can either plug into your phone or right into your camera. The other one I would recommend is the Rode Video Micro. This is about $60 US and it plugs right into a DSLR, a mirrorless camera, something like that. And this one excels if you are really close to it. So if you're vlogging or you're you know a couple feet away from this microphone, this one's really good. If you're going to be a little bit further away, there's two other options from Rode I like. This one is the Rode Video Mic Pro, and this is with the new Rycoat suspension system. But this one's really good because it has power, so you can add gain to the microphone, which is really good when you're plugging it into a DSLR because DSLRs don't have really good microphone preamps to boost the level of the audio you're getting from the microphone. So if you're using a DSLR or some other kind of microphone plugged into it and you're getting a hiss sound, Try the video mic pro from Rode and add this up to plus 20 dB. You'll get a little bit more power and you can turn down the input volume gain on your camera. So those are the three that I recommend. If you want to have a more studio setup, you can use something like a Rode NTG microphone. I'm using the NTG3 here just out of the picture. It's a shotgun microphone, takes XLR cables to plug into a camera or an audio recorder. So you're getting up there more in budget. This one's $700, but they have an NTG2, which is about 300 US dollars. So those are my recommendations. Rode SmartLav Plus, if you wanna record into your phone or camera using a lavalier, you might need to get an extension cable too, because this isn't very long. The Rode Video Micro plugs right into a DSLR at the top, good for vlogging or when you're close to the camera. A Rode Video Mic Pro, if you have a little bit more to spend, this one I think is $200, $230 or so. And then if you want a studio shotgun sound like this, get a Rode NTG. And Rode's not sponsoring this at all. I've just been using their microphones for years now and I use other brands for like podcasting. I use a Shure microphone and I've used Sennheisers for stuff. So this isn't sponsored by Rode or anything. I just really like their microphones and they have a lot of different options for depending on what you're trying to do. So thanks so much for the question, Austin. Remember, tweet me your questions with the hashtag AskLeb. I'll see them and respond to them here in these videos.